what what caused the slow start that you guys had to fall behind by 18 in the first half? Uh, I guess we just didn't have our uh, energy uh, right away as we expected. Um, we expected to have energy straight for the jump, hard defense, uh, flow on offense, but uh, it just didn't work out right away. So, well, we got we picked it back up. Um, we kind of you know felt what was coming towards us and their energy towards us, so we had to match it or overcome it. So. I feel like we picked it back up after a while. How tough was uh, Kevin Samuel to go against inside for them all, all day today? Um, I mean, he's physical. He's um, he's he weighs a little bit more to me, but I think that I could beat his physicality. Um, I didn't. It wasn't as hard as I expected, but I mean, it was good. He uh, it was still. I mean, me and him were still competing towards each other, so. I feel like that was good. Uh, he's a good rebounder, but um, I could tell by like the way he boxes out and stuff like that. But other than that, I didn't think it was as much as everybody said. Appreciate it. Thanks, Davion. For sure. Uh, next question to Kellis Robinette. Yeah, hey, Davion. Wh where do you think this game slipped away from you guys? Uh, I just think it slipped away by like us just going up and down. I mean, sometimes we have our good points, we have our good plays, we have our good defense, and then all of a sudden it breaks down and uh, it just comes with toughness and discipline. Uh, I feel like we was tough most of the time out there on the court. And uh, I think we just got to stay disciplined and be ready for everything that's coming towards us. I mean, we have prepared for, you know, two days and um, – and we've been just preparing, preparing for a while for this game and uh, against them. And we know what they do. And we just needed to complete that mission that we, you know, that we set or that goal that we, that we need to meet that goal that we met. So. What, what was it like for you having to play through foul trouble uh, during crunch time late? Um, <clears throat> also, I mean, me being in foul trouble, I got to play safe, but at the same time, I'll be aggressive and still be physical at the same time, still get rebounds, still, uh, set my screen and still, you know, get any uh, contest all the shots that I need to. So, I mean, just I just needed to keep playing hard. So, yeah, I didn't. It didn't really matter to me that I had four fouls. What, what's just kind of the general move of the team right now? Do you guys feel like you're still making progress even after a loss? No, we for sure making progress. I mean, every game for us is a learning opportunity. Every game, every time that we step on the court, is a learning opportunity. So, I feel like. We learn it, we learn it, we get an experience every time that we hop on the court. So uh, just getting us just getting us experience, especially for the freshmen or the newcomers or, you know, the people that never played in the Big 12, we, we still experience and we still learn it. Even for the older people, we still learn it. So it's good that we're making progress Thanks. every game. I thought it's good, but yeah, it's good that we make progress every game. Okay. Thanks, Davion, appreciate it. No problem. Next question to Michael Goins. Yeah, Davion, how did they, uh, how did TCU break you guys down on defense in the first half? Please say it again. How did they break you down on defense on the, in the first half and get a lot of easy baskets? Um, I feel like they broke us down, but I mean, I feel like we just wasn't finishing what we had to do. I mean, we wasn't knocking down shots. And um, it just, sometimes it just wouldn't go our way, so. And what was working for you? I think you had 10 and 7 in the first half. What was working uh, working right for you at the offensive end? I mean, it was just me playing hard, uh, then finding me, me uh, getting the rebounds and getting our second chance opportunities. So I feel like most of that just, just I mean, it was just uh, the way I was, I, it was just me falling and uh, me feeling good. So I just kept trying to attack, attack, attack my defender and everything worked my way. So. And what was your opinion of the offensive foul call that you got on the screen that you set for Nigel Pack? Um, I mean, it's kind of 50-50. I feel like the screens that I set are really good screens. But at the same time, um, the refs and how the rules work out, I, I, they say that, like, my um, my legs are too wide when I set the screens. Or sometimes I do chop my feet when I uh, set screens. So on that, that screen, that uh, pin down I set on Nigel, uh, if you watch the video slowly, uh, I was setting the screen, but I moved my right knee like a slight little bit. But 
I feel like it still wouldn't have been caught, but I did move my leg, so. And on the last lob that, uh, that Mike McGurl gives to you, is that just a little bit out of your reach, or what was your assessment of that play? I wasn't, I, I wasn't ready. I didn't roll as hard as I usually do. Um, and also, it was, it was slightly a little bit high, but it was most definitely, it was no excuse. I should have easily caught it. Um, so it was my fault on that, and I even told Mike that. So. Thank you, Davion. Uh, next question to Kellis Robinette. Yeah, Davion, one more for you. I noticed you had to ask out a time or two in today's game, but you may be doing that less than you were earlier in the season. Where's your endurance coming as you adjust to, to college basketball right now? You said it, say it again? I'm sorry. Um, is, how, how would you say your endurance is coming along now that you've uh, adjusted to college basketball? Oh, it's getting better. Uh, I'm getting paid more, um, especially <clears throat> for like the Big 12 and how fast it goes and uh, how experienced everybody is and everybody just being uh, competitive. So, I mean, I feel like my doing is getting way better. So, um, me getting also the experience and me learning and me, like I said, getting in shape. So, everything is getting better and better and better, I feel like. Is there is there any one thing you're really focusing on right now to try to keep progressing through Big 12 play? I mean, I just want to keep uh, – being a great teammate and also uh actually I want to I want to keep rebounding more I feel like there's times I should most definitely get the rebound and I need to so I think it just yeah I just think I need to rebound and also block shots when guards go up play better defense also on the uh, ball screens or any type of screens I said and one more what was it nice having Monty back out there with you Oh, yeah, it was. Uh, Monty's really known for defense, and so it was really good. Um, I knew it was his first game back, and uh, I think he didn't uh, play as he wanted to play, but I feel like it was still good, and it was still that it was, it was still a good chance that he was out there, and he did the stuff the way he did, like getting the offensive rebound and executing plays that we need him to do. So, yeah, I was excited for him to come out. Thanks, Davion. I appreciate it. No problem. Uh, next question to Michael Goins. Yeah, Davion, you guys take your second road trip uh, in the Big 12 on Tuesday. What's your expectation of going to Lubbock and, and meeting Texas Tech? I mean, we just want to uh, keep progressing, like we talked about before. And uh, let's be 2-0 when we go – well, let's make it 2-0 when we go back on, the, uh, on another road trip. Let's get another win back on the road trip. So that's kind of our mindset is just, you know, we need to lock in every single game and um, do better than we did last game. So if it's better than we did at TCU or the game before that, Omaha, it's, it's, it's better. I, all we need is progress. And that's, that's our mindset going into uh, Texas Tech.